This is a quick tutorial video on setting up the integrated spell checking in TLEX and TL term and TL database. Uh, firstly, we need to uh, download and install a spell checker for our language uh, that we want to work with. And we can do that by clicking on this config icon here in the toolbar, this green config icon pop up this menu and we see we get um, get extensions or spell checkers and this will take us to the extensions page on the twanage.com site uh, where we can download uh, various uh, spell checkers it also works with um, basically any spell checker it uses the same spell checking system as OpenOffice or LibreOffice uh, the hand spell system, so any hand spell spell checker should work. So you can also just take a LibreOffice spell checker and install it directly. Um, so typically, you will, can download the, lang the language you want to spell checker for you. So if you can't spell checker, or whichever language you want to work with, then you go back here, also to the same config icon, and say install extensions or spell checkers. You select the zip file that you downloaded from here. Uh, and it will install it as a spell checker extension in TL term or TLEX. Right? If you have TLEX suite, you'll have to. Um, those extensions are stored separately for TLEX and TL term, so you may have to do it twice once for TLEX, once for TL term. Uh, then again, we can also, on that same uh, menu here, yeah, we can check. Uh, all these are also available under the tools menu. These same options are available under Tools and under the you can say Show Installed uh, Spell Checkers. And uh, this gives us a list of um, the spell checker inst extensions that I happen to have installed. Uh, and we do need to be aware of and understand the uh, two letter language codes. Well, in some cases, three letters. Basically, the, the language codes like AR for Afrikaans or AR for Arabic, French, English. Um, and we can use dash gb or great britain or dash us or dash today for variants um, if we have those available um, so i have afrikaans in english installed only oh loaded sorry i have these 12 installed uh, and these two are loaded uh, and once it's installed you can then toggle on and off the spell checking by the integrated preview area spell checking with this uh, abc Tick mark and then your toolbar, yeah, toggle spell checking in preview area. Um, note it will, uh, yeah, so let's just demonstrate that. So if we have a <laughs> spelling error there, we can see it will be highlighted. Um, the it does require that your language codes are set up correctly. Um, so you may have to check that and uh, uh, say if you're in TL term, term base, customize DTD, uh, we can check the language codes. Um, each element in a TL term database, typically for, for a language terminology section, uh, should have an XML lang, XML colon lang fixed attribute and that value should be language code so um, this is what it will use to know which spell checker to use so if the language code is ZU for Zulu and we have a Zulu spell checker installed it should um, automatically then use that or if our language code is EN-GB and we have EN-GB installed uh, it will attempt to use that uh, but the term the setup may be slightly different um, this is actually set up here for this uh, English Arabic sample also. The, uh, um, to, to, uh, if we click this, this info, this little blue eye above, in the toolbar above the preview, it will show us the XML lang for each of your sections or sides in the TLEX dictionary. So your yeah, XML lang is set up as EN and XML lang is set up as AR. Uh, just how it knows which uh, 
which spell checker to use. Uh, to set that up, um, if you have not set that up, if you click the blue icon and there's no XML lang displayed, then you should go to tools. Oh, you can either go to uh, dictionary properties and try reselect your language. And if you see a code here, that is the code that will be used if you select that. Um, or we can use on the tools menu. Um, if we select the side we want to modify this for, we can say tools, edit section. And you, for the selected section, we say advanced edit section. And for the selected section, we have an option here to enter the language code for the language of the side or section of our dictionary. Um, and Tlax will use that when you um, uh, in selecting which spell checker to use.